So, this is the last mission of the chapter 4. It's called to reach the coral convergence. As you see, as you can see, we've got an S-rank. So how we did it? We designed this AC. We just put um, a laser handgun on both arms. We can also put the plasma reaper as well. But the laser handgun has a fire, higher fire rate. So we used him to try to hit as much as possible. But the main weapon that hits the boss is usually the stun needle launcher. Okay, and the rest is just very simple. I use this head because of the scanning range, but it's not a very big issue. The core, for example, VP40 is. Uh, the arms are a little lighter, VP46 is, not the higher armors. Uh, so we are going to use the tank ELTL11 Fortaleza because it's a fast moving tank. Um, our generator we're using VP20D. I use this generator because it's a more or less good uh, recovery system, supply recovery, recharge, energy recharge 714 is still okay for the generator. We're not using this one because the the energy recharge is much weaker. We've got more supply but we cannot recharge very often for the for the tank it's very easy to recharge. So for the US tuning we've got the two assault armors, we're not going to use more. And we're using the machine gun you need to increase the kinetic damage but if you're using energy weapons like me only we can uh, we have the chance to increase the de energy damage to maximum, your heat to maximum and all the defense to maximum. So what's the point here? The point here is that the first thing to take in mind in this mission that both situations are very complicated. Sometimes we can encounter uh, situations where the first two ACs are like um, not very good moving, not very good defending themselves, but other times when we replay the mission it becomes like very agile, very, very difficult to hit, very aggressive and so on. It's all about repetition. I think there are some kind of RNG implanted in all missions, but it uh, differs the behavior of the ACs from one repetition to another. So this is the first thing to take in mind. So the idea here is to be as much aggressive as possible, because if you are not doing this way, you are not going to do this the fastest possible, so maybe you are not going to get an S rank. So the time here is an essence. And uh, during the final battle, being fast is also very important because if you're not fast, you're not going to survive at all. Because if you spend more and more time on arena, you have to dodge more and more attacks. And with the time to dodge everything, it would be very, very difficult to make. So it's all about returning the mission, just to see if the RNG smiles on you or RNG do not smile on you. Because the behavior of the enemies is different. So. The next step is using the stun needle launcher when you are close to the enemy's AC, the first two. Try to get as close as possible and use uh, the stun needle launcher. But the problem is they just get lost behind the buildings or behind the corridors. It will be a little difficult to chase them. It's not always possible to eliminate them just one hit because they can use the health kits. Because if you catch the enemy, by surprise and he do not manage to help kid, kid himself so he the longer is going to take a very long time it's important to not to lose too much time on the first battle and then boost directly to the second battle so in the second battle it's important to stay around the the boss so if the boss moves to that direction you have to try also to run the direction and try to always surround him like doing this kind of movements like this circle of stride and circle stride and circle try to get as clear close as possible to him to build deliver the blow of stun needle launcher because if you maintain too much distance and try to use the stun needle launcher from him you have a very high chance to miss unless you are very careful with your shots but in a closer range you might get 
you have higher chance of receiving damage, but you also have a higher chance on delivering damage, especially from the stone middle launcher. So it's about to, to try over and over again, uh, trying to be a little aggressive, a little charging, and at the same time be precise and, and constant with your shots to be able to deliver the maximum damage possible in short time. As you can see in the video, the first part was very quick. The second part is where you can tremble and say, if he's going to kill me or if he's not going to kill me, it's all about surviving in the final battle. They, as well as you survive, and as you can see, we have the maximum defense and the maximum health kits. So I used, basically used everything and we survived and we still got an S rank. It's not about to, to survive the battle, it's, uh, it's not losing it too much health as possible. No, it's about to survive. That's it. The problem is that you have to do it strikes from the beginning to the mission just to the end, and if you fail, you have to repeat the mission all over. So it's about to, hey, to find your chances, and you can make it. Main system, activating combat mode. Commence mission. V2 Snail, come in. Requesting backup. We have insufficient force to ensure success. These institutes Decided to ignore Archimus's orders, did you? V2 Snail, come in. Raven has landed. Requesting backup. Balaam was a sinking ship. But Archimus's star is on the rise. Did I? Misread the signs. Investigate before they arrive. 